going on, everybody? And welcome back to the beatmajors.net. Yo, so today I'm going to show you guys how to uh, just a quick, like, this is just a small little trick, how to find the like the BPM of any song or any uh, beat that you, you know, put in F to uh, FL Studio. Um, so sometimes what I like to do is there's two different ways you can do it. If you're, you know, if you know the intro, like this intro here is a basically a four bar intro. Um, so you kind of know, um, well, I already know, I should say that the 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 first um downbeat is going to be well the first downbeat is here but you can see the next spot to where the beat actually drops in is right here um right on the 9 so as we know you know you got 4 4 which would make 8 so it'll be an 8 bar um technically but it's it's faster tempo so that's why that would be a 4 bar instead of an 8 cuz it's double time so basically I could move the tempo and you see how the beat changes so I can, you know, get it right on point right from just changing the tempo, you know, and then I can zoom in just to make sure, okay, boom, that's where that first hit is at. And that's, that's one way um, to do it. But you see that it, it it's right on point. It's right on time, but you see there's a little space here. And usually um, what happens is you're going to have to, you know, There's like a little area right at the beginning where there's open, you know, space, but you won't notice this if you don't zoom in. Now, you can keep it just like that um, for the time being, you know, if you'd like, if you don't want to go in, you know, if you're just trying to do something quick, you can, you know, it's right on where it needs to be. It's just not right on, you know, right on point, but it is right there on in time, though. So it, it's it's where it needs to be, because if you see, if you pay attention when I move this any further, so 141 is there, 142. 143 is way back here, but 142 is the closest to that bar, right? So when I go here, whoops, I don't know why I zoomed out. When I go back to this beginning and I turn my uh, snap to none. I can just take that, that off, go back to the nine, make sure that it's right on point. Boom. And we're good. And then as you can see, we'll just open this back up and boom, it's right on point. I mean, we could probably, you know, move it over some more, but I mean, it's, it's really on how intricate you really want to get. I'm very intricate, so I would like it to be right on point if it was me um, doing this for someone. But for the sake of the video, that's how you would do that. So we know that the, the beat is already on 142 so once you go up here to 142 and you hit the tap button um it'll bring up the tempo tapper make sure your sync is off and make sure your mute is off because it'll mute the audio when you're tapping and it'll try to sync the beat and mess you all up so what you're going to do is you can either uh left click your mouse and tap the tempo if you don't have a midi controller but if you have a midi controller you can tap on your midi controller as well so what you want to do is you want to listen to the beat and we already know that that's where that first downbeat is supposed to is supposed to come in so since we know that we're just going to wait for the beat to come up and we're going to start tapping it and make sure because it'll jump off once you start tapping and it'll jump back on time once you get the actual tempo so let's go Now, as you see, it jumped at the beginning from a different tempo and then it jumped. Then once it caught 142, it poked out. It stayed there and became big, big numbers like that. And that's basically telling you, OK, this is your tempo. Then it locked it where we you know, already had it at. You know what I mean? And then you can go in and do your, you know, your your cut at the beginning. Basically move that. Move it on time. If we can get in there. Get that right on the boom. All right. It's on point. So let's zoom back in. Wow. So we are all good. The beat is synced to 142. And we did that two different ways. Like I said, you can move the tempo until you know that that downbeat is supposed to be right there. It'll be at the 9. It'll be at the 17. It just depends on what your tempo is. If you're doing double time, 
you know, sometimes the four bar will be right here at the nine or it'll be at the 17. I mean, the next 17, just however long their intro is, you'll kind of know you'll gauge where the where the kick or where the, you know, the first down beat is supposed to come in. So I hope this helps you guys. I hope you guys got any va some value out of this. If you did, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe and hit that bell right after. And until next time, guys, I'll holla at you. Peace.